Hey everyone, back with another episode of This is the Police. Uh, so far I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm really enjoying the little choices you get to make and it hasn't gotten too difficult yet, but it is definitely, it is, uh, it's on the way there. Uh, am I not? I'm not recording. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone. Here with another episode of This is the Police. Um, I had a little issues trying to get my regular recording program started, so a little bit of time has progressed in the game, but like not a lot. It's been like three or four minutes, so it's just not a big deal. You didn't miss much. It's pretty much just people coming back from wherever the hell I sent them. Uh, so here we go. We're back with another episode. Hopefully, I can get through day two and maybe day three before I have to cut it and then do the next episode. So let's resume here and we'll see what's up. All right. Okay, perfect. So the people who stole the elderly musician's guitar got busted, which is perfect because that struck a chord with me. That made me angry. And the day, is it over? It's over, that was day one. Awesome, I should have just ended this on the last episode. Cool, so shift A and shift B. That's cool, guy. Oh, fuck, shift A sucks. Okay, well then what, do I just end the day? Okay, I'm fine with that. Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror, I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Cool. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business, so you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? Good it's question. nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. And and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters gives to charity, rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear, even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. 
The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, San pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, San killed 31 people, old men, women, even a few teenagers. And San's people made sure every paper reported it. Okay. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack. Please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. So here's a quick recap. I need some extra money because of my unplanned early retirement. My boy Kendrick here is hooking me up with some contacts so that I can make some extra money on the side. He offers to put me in contact with this dude. Christopher Sand. He's a bad dude. He does mafia stuff. You know, fancy parties, horseback riding, murder, the usual mafia stuff. I refuse because I don't want to do anything illegal to make my retirement money, uh, and that's pretty much all you missed. Good man, don't do the bad stuff. Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. No, but a construction of a used cinema s or of cinema museum postponed again. Cool. Legendary singer Jibidibixpo comes from Freiburg to Freiburg. Oh my god, I cannot read. Every time? Every time. It's going to do that at the beginning of every day. Chief, my son came down with a serious illness. I think I better take off work. Yes, but come tomorrow. What? There's a new movie opening today? No! You fucking... What is, what is this? What is this? That guy's sick kid was sick. You just want to go see a movie? Like, I'm, I know you're like 80, but shit, man. You're not... Yeah, no. I need... I need... I need feet on the ground. I need... Badges on the streets, sir. Start the day. Ooh, grumble. Choose a song to play. There's only one. Wait, let me... Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, yo. Oh. Sweet ginger green. Vandalism at St. John's Cathedral. Received a frightening call from the local cathedral. This morning, the abo the uh, the abbot the abbot discovered that someone entered the old cemetery during the night. Uh, the old yard's tombstones are painted with satanic symbols, and some have been broken into. And blah blah blah. Okie doke. I fucking love this song. Do the Charleston. Uh, it seems there are even marks from a shovel, but the abbot would say no more. Oh man, I don't, I don't want to get copyright. I'm gonna have to only put in little excerpts. Okay. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm a sucker for that old, like, swing music. Alright. Let's send two of the average officers and hope that that's enough. Well, cause goddamn, well, I gotta send some shitty people too, cause they're never gonna get better. Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo -boo. Vandalism at Atticus Tower. Businessman Harley Jones, looking out of his window, saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans onto his new car. Alright, well, it's just some dude in a car. Whatever, I'm just gonna fucking. Eddie's Burgers! 
Oh, it's over. Damn. A uh, waitress named Mila reports that she just served a chicken eddy and a Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who she'd seen on television just this morning. The culprit sitting at the window, or the culprit is sitting at the window, eating a burger. Okay. So this could potentially be someone super dangerous. Uh, I'm going to send crazy good guy with terrible 20 guy. Because... I want to make sure that this is not going to blow up in my face. Ideally. Oh, okay, well, as much as I love that song, we got to try something else. We got to try something else just to see. Don't let me down, Bob. Bud. Bud? Yeah. I can deal with this. Oh, report on the vandalism. Offender escaped. Mother. Oh, really? Everyone's escaping. Oh, you went down? Oh, great. So if you're a bad, terrible, stupid cop, then you don't get points. Suspicious. Oh, okay. At least it's a false alarm. Ooh, what is this? Mr. Boyd, my bouncer stuffed himself with Mexican food again, and now he can't get off his can. Meantime, the line outside of the club is stretched around the block. We need someone outside to tell the cool guys from the punks. Uh, wait. This is a job for the police? And you have people at your club at four in the afternoon? Something is up here. I'm no detective. But who's lining up around a club at 4 p.m. on what I assume is a Wednesday, since it's day three? I'm on to you, sir. But regardless, I'm gonna give you somebody. Can I click on the police station? I can. Okay, cool. Labor market. Oh, I can hire more people. Ooh, dude, I like your. I want to hire you just for your beard. Look at that. You could be anyone under there. Um, Officer Adam Jensen. Oh, your name is Odin Beard. I have to like. Okay, so we got Odin Beard over here, who I really want to hire. Fucking Naruto ninja motherfucker over here. And Adam Jensen. You just share a name of an actor whom I enjoy watching. Neelai. Alright, fucking Odin Beard. <laughs> like, you, your parents named you Odin Beard. You're, you're set, bud. Uh, hire for shift whatever, man. You're good wherever, man. As long as I get to see Odin Beard pop up every now and again. An anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons at the skating rink is selling crack to teenagers. God damn it. Krusty, you have fallen from grace, sir. Okay. Well, like shit, okay. There's a clown selling crack to kids. Maybe I should send some somewhat competent people but 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 da 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 sorry chief but I quit in one night I pulled in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump Mr. Stork said he wouldn't mind taking me on. I guess just wasn't cut out to be a cop. Samity, I trusted you. So I lost a cop, but I made 4500 bucks for providing a bouncer. Oh, God, nine seconds. 
Suicide threat, oh geez. Naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has threatened to set himself on fire unless his favorite chewing gum becomes popular again. Whoa. Buddy. Whoa. Okay. We need to not fuck this. Roy, I love you. You're not going. Butch? Birch? Wait. Birch and Birch Jr., you both suck? That's horrible. I cannot trust either of you. Why, how are you both... Okay. Sucking together collectively as a family. Good. Okay. Don't fuck it up, please. I'm hoping Stov Stovall over there uh, carries that situation. Because, oh my god. Oh, that is... Wait. Oh, as police arrive, a clown is seen making balloon animals for the kids. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. Cover up in a raincoat and prepare to be or er, pretend to be an illicit customer. Take the clown onto the ice and round up any witnesses. We're gonna carefully watch from a distance because I am not in the. Uh... Yeah, see, watch from a distance. Wait to see him sell the drugs. Yeah, then you arrest him. You can't just arrest someone without probable cause. Suicide threat. Oh, why is he arrested? He was just mad that his favorite candy was unpopular. I think I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Okay, that's the end of that day. We're going to call it here for episode two. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. If you do, please let me know. Leave a like or a comment. I don't like saying that i don't feel the need to tell you guys like if you like something you're obviously gonna like it or comment on it but just you know in case maybe maybe me asking will like make you guys go down and like click the little button and you know help the brother out i hope you guys have a good one take care of yourselves have a great night day weekend whatever it happens to be and uh take care see you next time